Now, if you've seen some of the videos I've done, you'll realize I use quite a lot of Lego to explain the physics of the world around us. And I've also done some workshops for teachers where I showed how we can use different bits of Lego to represent different bits of physics. And the question I kept on getting asked was, how can I buy just the bits of Lego that I need? There are two options. Actually, there's a third one now, but you can go to the official Lego shop where you can buy the pieces. But if you're only after a small amount of Lego, it can get quite expensive. Or you can go to Bricklink where you can get any bit from any part of the world, but it takes a long time to actually get the pieces and you often spend quite a lot of money on postage. So there is now the third option. You can actually buy a Lego set with just the pieces that you need. Now, the first set I have here is for individuals. Okay, so maybe you're a teacher wanting to use this under a visualizer or a student who just wants to learn a bit more and actually get some hands on with that uh, Lego. So I've got the instructions here, pretty simple really. We've got protons, we've got neutrons, we've got general particles and we have electrons. And in the set there are 10 of each. Now this is enough to maybe start to explain the difference between solids, liquids and gases where we think about the particle model. We, we can even explain what happens in an ideal gas when you've got these particles inside that container. So we can use this for that part of the course. We can also use it to explain what's inside the atom. Perhaps you just have a proton and an electron orbiting around the outside and that's our hydrogen atom. We can add neutrons to make different sorts of isotopes. And then if we have a different number of protons, we then have a different element. And again, we can take this further by thinking about alpha radiation and beta radiation. So this set here has everything that you need to explain everything for GCSE physics. Now that's great if there's only one of you or maybe a pair of students, but sometimes you need to have a whole class set. And I've got this mega set here that has everything in that set, but 10 times as much. So I've got 15 cards here, so there's um, instructions for a whole class to be working in pairs. And in the box I've got 100 blue, 100 yellow, 100 red, and 100 of the grey electrons. So again, you could just take this, you could tip it out into a grapnel tray, you can bring it out when you're teaching or when learning is taking place about uh, atomic physics, about radiation, all of that good stuff that everybody has to know about for GCSE. So that is your class set of Lego, put it in a grapnel tray, and it's gonna last for years and years and years. But what happens if you're going on to A-level and you want to take it a little bit further? I then also have an A-level kind of booster kit. So you need this in addition to one of the GCSE sets, and now we have a huge amount more particles. We've got the entire standard model, uh, electrons, muons, and tau particles. We also have things like electron neutrinos, uh, and what I've done when I've been uh, making my videos is if I turn this upside down, we then have the antimatter equivalent. So perhaps we have an anti-electron neutrino, or perhaps we have an upside down one by one brick to represent a positron. So some of the kind of bread and butter staple things that everybody needs to know about for A-level. You can see I've got the quark model here. And if you had an up, a down, and an up quark joined together, we would make something that is a proton. And if we had a down, an up, and a down, we then have something which looks like our neutron. Okay, so again, that's something that students need to know about. And we also have the other flavors of quarks down here. I also have some photons. Uh, and again, this is where we come to the idea that there's this wave particle duality, but these can be used for explaining perhaps transitions between energy levels in an excited atom. Perhaps we can explain the photoelectric effect by thinking about the particle nature of night light rather than its wave properties. And the clear photons are used to maybe represent ultraviolet or infrared photons where they don't have um, a visible uh, colour that we can actually see. So again, that can explain everything you need to know about. There's probably, well, there's definitely enough here for one teacher to be using under a visualizer or maybe getting a small group of students together, or you can perhaps buy multiple sets so more students can actually have access to this in the lesson. So that is my A-level booster kit. And I think with this and this, you can explain all of the particle physics and actually get students to get a bit more hands-on rather than just learning stuff by just watching you write stuff on the board or under the visualizer. Now the advantage of buying it for me is that you basically get all the bits in, in the box that you need. You don't have to get extra bits that aren't going to be used. And also it's actually cheaper than going to pick a brick to actually buy just the bits and then pay the postage. 
So, uh, Lego is awesome. It can be used to liven up a lesson. Students really get on with it. I think it's just something a little bit different and a different way to model the world around us. And I think that it really helps students actually understand the course. So, there we go. Those are my physics Lego sets. Enjoy.